Dog FPV. Over the President's Day uh, holiday, there were some pretty good sales going on. So I went ahead and picked up this Tomo Quads Whoop B-Frame. Uh, so I was gonna go ahead and build up a, a small Cine Whoop. And uh, so the parts that I picked up, I got this Beta FPV 75 Pro frame that I'm gonna cut up and uh, use the ducts for that to mount the motors. Um, I have the Cadex Turtle V2. I picked up uh, four Beta FPV 0802 12,000 kV motors. I picked up the Beta FPV F4 uh, 2S flight controller all in one. And uh, then I also picked up the HDLRC Nano VTX and it came with uh, the wire harness already pre-soldered. So with that, I decided to go ahead and make a video of it since I was putting it together. So let's go ahead and uh, start assembling this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and solder on this XT30 connector. I'm just gonna be cutting off these existing connectors and the uh, wire gauge is good enough. So what I'm gonna do again is just clip these two off. What I'm gonna do next is just tin the leads on the XT30 connector. I'm gonna go ahead and tin the leads here. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and solder the leads uh, to the XT30 connector with uh, some heat shrink tube. All right, you can see that I got it uh, soldered on securely. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use a heat gun. Alrighty, that's what it should look like. Uh, sometimes when you're doing builds, you run into some snags and you have to course correct. And that's just a uh, part of it. But uh, these replacement motors, these 0802, came with leads that are just too short. So I'm gonna have to uh, change directions here and modify what I'm gonna do. Instead of these 0802s, uh, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, since this frame supports the pattern for the 1103 motors, I I'm gonna go ahead and use the Beta 75X motors I was trying to keep this build as light as possible, but um, I think in the long run it might even be better since this is a slightly heavier build with the Cadex uh, camera on it. Uh, I think it might be a better approach just to go ahead and uh, put the little, little more powerful motors. Yeah, it's gonna have a little more weight to it, but I think in the long run, since this is a heavier build, that's probably a better option. I'm gonna tin the leads on the flight controller now. Tinning wires on the transceiver. Since I'm not going to be using the 5 volt regulator on the VTX, I'm going to go ahead and remove these two wires. So hopefully you'll be able to see this, but so on the VTX wiring, the video pad or the green wire coming off of the VTX is connected to the VTX output from the flight controller. The TX pad, which is this outside pad, is connected to the yellow wire, which is the RX side, so RX to TX, as it normally is. And then power and ground, so I connected the power lead to the second pad from the outside edge here, and then the ground lead is right next to it. So uh, that, uh, you know, is how you wire up the VTX. Now, as far as the Cadex Turtle V2, I went ahead and just connected the five volt pigtail power lead directly to the battery pad here and then the ground over here. 
then as far as um, the camera yellow wire it goes to the second pad from the outside and that is the camera in to the flight controller so hopefully that makes sense so again power ground and then the yellow wire going to the camera pad on the receiver right excuse me on the flight controller so I didn't let any smoke out everything seems to be wired correctly and working I bound it to my Tyrannus radio and everything seems to be working correctly the Cadex turtle is also working so I'm gonna go ahead and finish assembling it why don't we quickly go through the component placement I went ahead and used some taller standoffs here these are eight millimeter standoffs that allowed me to put the VTX between the Cadex turtle board and the top plate here uh, that also lowered this so it's easier to get a hold of the start record button and stop record button and also um, getting access to the uh, SD card is easier. I went ahead and put the standoffs with the posts sticking up and then just cut them off because it was a lot easier to get this uh, screw versus the standoff. Um, with a nut on it with the uh, thread coming out this direction So I just cut it off since this is a nylon standoff and that worked out quite well So overall, um, I think this uh, is coming together pretty good so far So next I'm going to go ahead and put on uh, the flight controller stack onto the bottom plate Okay, here's the final build What it looks like it comes in at 56 grams, which is quite reasonable. I'm gonna be running it with the battery on top, so I put a, a battery rubber mat on the top. I went ahead and added some lightweight uh, skid plates here, or skid rubber pads on the bottom of these arms and on the front and back here. So I'm gonna try these 350 Ma Beta FPV 2S batteries. So if I add that on there, it comes in at 77 grams, which is quite reasonable. Overall, I'm very pleased with this build. Uh, I'm going to go out and uh, take it for a flight, and I'll post the video. And thanks for watching.